Hi, Monty here from Black Sheep Adventure Sports. Today we're standing in Climb On in Squamish and we're going to be talking about carabiners. Understand the different components of the carabiner, what they're called, and the uh, loading characteristics. So I've got my, uh, my Petzl Attaché here and it has, like when we're looking at it, it has three main, main components that you need to be aware of. One is the gate right here, the other is the spine, and the last is the nose. This is the nose right here. But purchasing a carabiner, you always want to look at the spine here and you'll see on it what the load ratings are for it. And carabiners have different strengths depending on how you load them. So this one is 22 kilonewtons if I load it directionally straight through. So if I take it and I load it just like that, then we're at 22 kilonewtons. Now, if I, the next number on there, is seven kilonewtons and that's for a cross-loaded carabiner. So when you cross-load a carabiner, basically what that means is you're pulling against the gate and the spine. It's, uh, no carabiners are designed to be loaded like this. So there, that's a cross-loaded carabiner. They're designed to be hard to cross-load. Um, unfortunately, with certain blade devices and in certain applications, you will find that they do cross-load. So there we are. So we've gone from 22 kilonewtons to 7 kilonewtons in that configuration. The last one I'm going to show you here is if I've taken this carabiner and I've made it such that the gate can't close. And now we load this carabiner directionally, just like our first one. Now it's good for 6 kilonewtons, much less than the original 22. Um, you'll find that a lot of the different carabiners all have different load ratings. Um, the, the only one that stays the same is the directional force like this when it's not open it is 22 or greater. And that's it. Come back next time. We're going to be talking about uh, different types of carabiners.